If you have ever looked up at the heavens and wondered what's out there, you're not alone. And every day, thousands of amateur astronomers grab their telescope and aim it towards the sky. The universe is a big place, and there's never a shortage of neat things to see. Despite the fact that it's only a mere blip on the cosmic scale, the Milky Way galaxy contains over 100 billion stars. And with the help of a telescope, you can uncover the tiny details and see what the naked eye cannot. After hours of research and after taking expert advice, we have listed the 5 best telescopes to help you choose the one that suits you perfectly. The links for the products mentioned in the video are in the description below. You could also find a more detailed analysis and a comparison tool on our website, BigAdvisor.com. Let's get right into our top picks. Number 5. G Skyer Telescope AZ70400 If you're just getting started with astronomy, you don't need to spend a ton of money. You actually get a lot of your money with this package. It comes with two eyepieces, a parallel lens, a small finder scope, and a tripod mount. It also includes a smartphone adapter and a wireless remote which allows you to take photos very easily. The only thing it could do with is a larger aperture. For beginners, you can't ask for much more. In terms of the specification, the telescope has an aperture of 70mm and a focal length of 400mm, giving us a focal ratio of f by 5.7. If you combine it with the 10mm eyepiece, you're going to get a good amount of magnification. Plus, it uses high transmission coatings to help create bright images and bring out extra features in deep space objects. For a negative perspective, this telescope isn't the highest quality. For those that want to take their astronomy seriously, you're probably better off purchasing something a little more expensive. But there are some people who would buy a telescope, use it once, and leave it to collect dust in the corner. If you're one of those people, then a cheap telescope is probably a better idea. For those just embarking on their astronomy journey, this might be the perfect choice. Alta Zimuth mounts can be okay for those just beginning their astronomy journey, and this could be a good option for amateur astronomers. Number 4. Celestron Next Star 130SLT The Celestron Next Star is the best computerized telescope for beginners. Just give yourself time to learn the ins and outs before trying to locate your own comet. The controls are more user-friendly than the other go-to mounts, and the Celestron's own sky align setup is as easy as aiming at any three bright points in the sky. You'll get clear, bright views of objects even at high magnification. The included eyepieces are adequate and upgrades are available if you want to dig deeper into the cosmos. The 130SLT includes two 1.25 inches Kellner eyepieces, a 25mm for 26 times magnification, and a 10mm for 65 times. These are enough to get you started, but you'll want additional eyepieces for more magnification options, particularly for viewing fine detail on the moon and planets or splitting double stars. For aligning the mount to the sky, the 130SLT includes Celestron's standard star point red dot sight, which is all you really need. The next star 130SLT can show a fair amount of detail on the moon and planets, provided it's collimated. Though the 65 times that a stock 10mm eyepiece can provide isn't exactly going to be jaw-dropping. With a more powerful eyepiece, you'll have no trouble spotting the cloud belts on Jupiter, the Cassini division in Saturn's rings, and albedo features on Mars. If you are looking for your first go-to telescope, this is an affordable place to start. Number 3. Orion 10015 Star Blast 4.5 Astro Reflector Telescope If you want a telescope and you want one that can give excellent views, without all the frills, Orion's Star Blast 4.5 Astro Reflector is a favorite among beginner astronomers, due to its low price and the fact that it's been in the scene for around 15 years. Some good points that you might like about the Star Blast is that it comes with a red dot finder. This won't be for everyone, as although we don't mind it, some people don't like to use a red dot finder at all. The Orion Star Blast is a 4.5 inches f by 4 Newtonian with a focal length of 450mm. Star Blast 4.5 excels as a wide field telescope, offering a nearly 4 degree field of view along with a 32mm plossal or 24mm wide field eyepiece. While primarily a wide field instrument, the Star Blast performs pretty well on the moon and the planets, much better than the 60 to 90 mm refractors often cited as good beginner scopes. The Star Blast 4.5 Astro includes two eyepieces, 17 mm and 6 mm Kellners providing 26 times and 75 times respectively. The Star Blast is optimized for wide fields. It's primarily made for low power viewing of nebulae and star clusters. That being said, it's a pretty good lunar and planetary instrument too. Number 2. Skywatcher Classic 200P The Skywatcher Classic is a Dobsonian telescope, meaning it's a big cannon shaped beast. Don't let the size scare you off. Dobsonian telescopes are perfect for your first astronomical instrument. Once out of the box, you'll be stargazing in a matter of minutes. The large optical tube allows for a wide aperture and mirror, which means this telescope can soak up a lot of light. 
that's good for trying to see clear images of planets and the moon. It's not ideal for astrophotography, but if you want to quickly set up a telescope and see something impressive, this basic Dobsonian is the perfect telescope for beginners and a good advancement. Like most Dobbs, this one has a focal length of 1200mm, giving it a focal ratio of f by 7.9. It provides easy to use quality viewing for the moon and brighter planets in our solar system and, with its 8 inches aperture, you'll be able to see a decent amount of star clusters and brighter deep sky objects like Andromeda Galaxy. With any Dobb telescope, the payoff is always light gathering power against control. This is a point and shoot scope. There's no fancy equatorial mount and no prospect of tracking celestial objects with a motor or using telescope for astrophotography. That said, it does make it a fantastic model for learning your way around the night sky. It's also incredibly simple to set up and use, even for a complete beginner. The only pieces of maintenance you'll need to keep on top is aligning your finder scope and collimating your primary mirror, both of which are straightforward enough with our simple guides. As amateur telescopes go, this is a great option. If you want to get started with the backyard astronomy, have a limited budget but want the best view of the night sky possible for the price, then this is the scope for you. Number 1. Celestron Next Star 6SE Celestron Next Star range of catadioptic telescopes is perhaps the most popular on the planet, and the Celestron Next Star 6SE is the best selling of all the SE computerized telescopes. The Next Star 8SE would have taken the best telescope spot in our personal category if it were not for Celestron's superior, bigger, and more expensive CPC 1100. The 6SE certainly deserves top spot in our list, even given its almost $900 price tag. First off, 6 inches is not a small aperture, and mounted on a single fork arm with some clever electronics, it will help you see far more than you're likely to achieve with a reflector of the same size. The telescope body is mounted on a single arm, motor-driven alt-azimuth mount with a computerized hand control containing a database of 40,000 night sky objects. Select any of them with a handheld integral controller and motorized tracking will center it in your eyepiece and keep it there as it moves across the sky. But the 6SE is subject to the same limitations as every other 6-inch telescope. It can only see celestial bodies to a certain magnitude, so be prepared to discover that not all 40,000 objects on the database are actually viewable with this telescope, especially if you don't enjoy a very dark sky. A major selling point for this telescope is the optical system, and it allows you to get bright, crisp images of distant objects. Generally speaking, there are two types of astronomers that buy into the SE range. The first live under the light polluted skies and struggle to locate faint objects in the sky because the viewing is poor. The motorized telescope gets around that problem by pointing directly at the celestial objects you select from the database. The second group of astronomers that love the SE compound telescopes range are those who would much sooner spend their time outside in the dark looking at objects rather than finding them. Computerized telescopes like the 6SE do the hunting for you, and the sky tour function will pull out recommended features for that evening's viewing. As with any Altus mounted telescope, the Next Star 6SE is not a great choice for astrophotography, although it is possible. And like all the Celestron guided scopes, you'll need to invest in additional power because of its short battery life. If you want to skip the difficulties of learning your way around the night sky viewing in favor of seeing some stunning sights within and beyond the solar system, then the 6SE is a great choice. The best telescopes are great for scoping out massive stars, but they're just as useful for looking at planets. And with the high quality lens, you can get a clear view of almost every planet in our solar system. The only problem is that the astronomy can be quite complex, and if you don't know how to find the best telescope for your needs, there is a good chance you'll end up with a lackluster experience. However, getting the best telescope is quite challenging when you have plenty of models available on the market with a decent design and innovative features. All the products mentioned above are a perfect blend of versatility and innovation, providing the users the best-in-class experience. Choose wisely which products use you the best and will fulfill all your requirements. Let us know in the comments which model works for you the best and why. Thank you for watching the video and that is all for this one. If you find this video helpful in any way, give a huge thumbs up, stay tuned for the upcoming videos by subscribing to our channel. See you guys in the next one.